This is the fifth video in the Canon Studio Solutions software tutorial series. Now that you've created some products for your studio to profit from, you have a number of value-added options to offer your clients, like photo retouching. Studio Solution has a variety of retouching tools, and for more complex editing, you can choose to export to Adobe Photoshop. Let's get started. To retouch a photo, go to the photo library and choose a photo. As you might remember from video four, when you double click a photo, it immediately opens in the photo workshop. This is where we can do some basic edits or advanced retouching. Make sure you're in the enhance tab. You see a lot of tools in the enhance window. The one we care about right now is retouch. Click on that and you'll get a drop down menu, which gives you the option to use Photoshop. Let's use Retouch Workshop. Over here on the left, you have access to basic touch-up tools. For a lot of you, the tools in Retouch are like old friends. You might recognize Clone, Blemish, Burning, and Dodging. As I click each tool, you can see how the toolbar at the top gives settings specific for that tool, such as brush size and feathering options. Over here on the right, Studio Solution offers retouching methods and navigation options. You'll find familiar items like paintbrush and lasso. Again, as I select each tool, you can see each tool's options in the toolbar at the top here. Let's do a quick retouch. I'll choose Dodge and apply it using the brush method. Once you've retouched the photo, you can choose to save to the original file or save your changes as a new file, ensuring you never lose the original photo. The Save as New Photo is added to the catalog column. As I mentioned before, if you need to do more complex editing, something like braces removal, you can choose to export the image, then edit in Adobe Photoshop if you have it installed on your computer. After you finish your adjustments, you can save your file back into the same Studio Solution catalog. You don't have to worry about losing the file or changing the way your library is organized. Now that I've saved our changes, we're back to the Enhance screen. Here's where you can conveniently add a border. There are a number of choices to play around with. We'll cover borders in more depth in video six. Basic and advanced image editing, external round trip editing, non-destructive image editing. Thanks for watching Canon Studio Solution Tutorial.